Hello and welcome to part 7, chapter 7, of the Fire Emblem Engaged Maddening Female Only Run. Um, in the last episodes we managed to do both the Parallax for Anna and Jean. Um, unfortunately Jean cannot join the team, but we will be making use of Anna throughout this run, including this chapter. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, on to chapter 7, the Grand Crossing. The Dark Emblem, I believe is what it's called. So yeah, sit back and enjoy. So, you made it across the border. We're in Brodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firene. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> We're under attack? Name yourselves! I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <sighs> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief. I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Firne, and your ally. The Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firne? That's right. Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? <laughs> I... I am so, so, so sorry! Huh? Uh, I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Cyrene! I'm begging, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! It's alright. No harm was done. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Hmm, wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. You're not just a soldier, are you? Uh, no, I'm Alcrest, second prince of Brodia. Prince? I thought so. How's it going, Prince Alcrest? Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh, these are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. Honored to meet you and your coterie. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. I can't say I feel very welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. He ordered us to meet you at the border and formally welcome you to the kingdom. We've been waiting for a long time, and all we encountered were bizarre creatures or bandits. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We had to take a little detour. Still, if your arrow hit the Divine on Brodius standing would have been seriously hurt. Be more careful next time, Prince Alchrist. I will. I really am sorry. You cannot be held liable, Alchrist. You had no way of knowing who they were. Was it not possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more resplendent manner? This is the Kingdom of Warriors. If you can't dodge one arrow, you're not worthy to enter. Here, the weak are strong. Maybe we should give you a little test, hmm? What did you say? She didn't mean that. Apologies. My country places too much value on strength. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess, Prince Alfred. Oh, well, thank you. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me greeting you instead of someone better. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. Really? You're grateful to see... me? Yes. Honored, in fact. <sighs> How polite of you to say so. Charming as well as divine, I see. Could you do me the favor of being... less dazzling? I find it uh, so hard to shine as it is. 
Uh, all right. Now, come with me. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. We will arrive at the Grand Crossing soon. That will take us to the castle. Good. Divine One, if I may. I was wondering about something Queen Eve said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. An Illusion we fought told us as much. I see. We'd heard rumors to that effect, but I didn't dare believe them. <sighs> Those neighbors of ours. You will need all the rings to defeat the Fell Dragon, right? For generations, my country has possessed the Ring of the Young Lion. The Ring of the Young Lion? It has a red stone and a certain... gallant aura. Diamant, the Crown Prince, told me he's been hearing a voice from the Ring. He's a remarkable person. I'm lucky to be his brother. You really admire him, don't you? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The King adores him. As do our people. My brother is cut from the noblest cloth. I'm afraid I was made from the tatters. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is! The Grand Crossing! There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are... Illusion soldiers! They're occupying the bridge! No! Finally! It took you long enough! Very rude to keep a princess waiting! Very rude indeed! Princess? That would be me! The second princess of Illusia, Hortensia! Now then, hello everybody! Illusia's second princess? You're the Divine Dragon! Uh, right. Ew, I knew it! I could totally tell! You're the prettiest! It's a dead giveaway! I always thought Lumera was the only Divine Dragon! You could've knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one! <laughs> wow! Those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see! Don't come any closer! You wicked Illusions aren't worthy to approach the Divine Dragon! <laughs> Nobody asked you, Brodian! Besides, we're not the wicked ones, you are! <sighs> My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory, taking our land. It's the worst! Do you know how many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people? We're not just invading to expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Thirdly, I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings. By order of my father, King Hyacinth. He told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. Never. Aww, I thought nabbing your rings would be the easy job. Lucky big sis getting to attack the castle instead. The Crown Princess? Attack Brodia Castle? Oops, probably shouldn't have said that. Must go right away. <laughs> As if I'd let you pass. My father's gonna be so proud of me. All Illusion soldiers, forward march! Get me those rings! Alright, here we go. Um, we do get two new allies here in the form of Lapis and Citrine. Apologies if I butchered that name a bit there. Uh, but yeah, we do get these two, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, I cannot equip them with any weapons to start with. 
But we can make do what we have. Go with that. So we haven't seen why this chapter is called the Dark Emblem yet, but I think we're probably about to find out. So Gold Mary and Rosado are the two bosses, along with Hortensia, of course. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll just see how this goes. I think this map's probably where, I mean, we only have two, well, three if you count our rest compulsory males in this map, so... We must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. Of course, Prince Alchrist. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. I will protect you both. So brave. But, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, get behind me. Huh? <laughs> oh, all oh, Chris, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on! Citrine! You should also be in the back! Ah, uh, you too. Looks like it's starting. To your positions, everyone. Oh, the Divine Dragon is absolutely... <sighs> absolutely not as cute as we are? Right, exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Outshine the enemy, and then defeat them. Now, let's steal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them. So from memory of doing this chapter previously, it's these it's these Pegasus knights out wide that are a little bit annoying to deal with. And then it gets okay, I think. Remember there's any reinforcements this map? Um Here I go! My will is firm. down anyone Ready. A 
an invitation? I'm listening. can join in her attacks. We'll have to be careful. Definitely do some good things in this run. Uh, 
Dark. Guided by the emblems. A slight setback. Is it go time? There is 
nothing to fear. Nice boy. Uh, wouldn't mind some strength, but that's okay. I'm at a hundred percent. Yeah, you are. I smell gold. So I said the flying units were the most annoying, but you know, honestly they're they're gone. It's just these ones left that may as well be normal. Grounded foe. to do it kind of in a hurry because I might even send uh, Chloe out first here. Hopefully she gets a dodge. Understood. Oh! <laughs> 
Say the word. are strong. They are strong today. I didn't think they were that strong, but they definitely are. Okay, so we have to kill all those people.
You were beautiful while you lasted. They're strong. Whatever you require. Okay, so I should have had seven and twelve. Oh, you're fine. Yes, okay, so you like to go with the one. No. She get doubled. So three. Oh, you actually die.
This isn't so bad. Okay, now let's think about how we want to do this. I think we have to draw her around. It's not great. But she is weak with the sword in hand. Return the ring. No way! I'm the one who's after the rings. We could have done this the easy way, but no! You had to be stubborn. I'm stubborn. I challenge my fate! Taking the lead! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
that's a concern. Divine Dragon! I... Got it, yes. Now I've done it. I'm sorry, Hortensia. I have to retreat.
here for me. I think this is the right thing to do, we're just farming up a little bit. We can get all the things. This love is a crime. I will not be cut down. I know we have the great sacrifice, but I kind of want to hold off. I apologize for the audio there, that was, that was actually pretty crazy.
Lend me your strength. My prayers are with you. That kind of surprises me. I thought Lapis was very good, but I suppose Aaliyah's always good. They fled in a hurry. Hmm. There's a lot of damage to the bridge. It may take time to find a safe path forward. We didn't recover the emblem ring. We didn't lose any either. And most importantly, you're not hurt. Let's call that good enough. <sighs> you're right. It is plain now that Queen Lumera's stolen rings lie in Illusia's hands. In which case, we can deduce that they possess five. Five? Yes. Counting the rings taken from Lethos Castle. The rings of the Sage Lord, the Azure Twins, the Instructor, and of course, the Princess Exalt. Princess Hortensia was wielding the latter, as you'll recall. Besides those four, there was one entrusted to them by your forebears. Which one? If I may, I believe it's the Ring of the Lady of the Plains. The King favors it, or so I've heard. He keeps it in his personal chambers. His chambers? That's odd. Fierne's ring has a hall in the castle all to itself. Where does your kingdom keep its ring? Like Fierne, we store ours in a special gallery in the castle. Speaking of which, how soon might we be able to depart? I really am worried about the situation there. The soldiers should be back from patrol soon. Let's prepare to leave. Thank you. If anything has happened to my father or brother, I don't know what I'll do. So, two more these two here added to the team, right. Lapis and Sea Train. Um, they will be <sighs> good allies for us, I would say. Totally! Just quickly get these. I will get uh, this should be sped up, so no dramas there. Oh. Yes. Oh wow.
Almost done. said to me all those long years ago where are you sister Alright, so that concludes part 7. Um, pretty pretty straightforward chapter that one, and like I said, we've got two new females to our team, so it is growing, and soon enough, if not already, we will be able to just go all females with no males to even fill in or take any hits and not fight back. Um, so, uh, yeah, if there's any suggestions or anything, please feel free to leave them in the comments. We have some big chapters coming up, and I'm really excited. I'm hoping to stream chapter 10 slash 11, so stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Peace out.